Okay, not bad, not bad, not not a bad light actually. Um, I want to uh, just explain that this video will make mistakes and you want every audio part. I want to call this video Kids with Kids. Okay, yeah, and I hope I remember to title it that because Gids, right, is G I D. Lots of multiple G I D people. Gender identity disorder. G I D. Gender identity disorder. Now, gender first started in Peace and Party's opinion is a bullshit word. Excuse the language, there's no other word for it. Bullshit. Gender. Bullshit. When you think of gender, just automatically have an equal sign in your brain and next to it a big pile of bullshit. Yeah, gender is bullshit for a start. Identity, everybody wants to know who they can be and become who they want to be. That's identity in a nutshell. Disorder is a medical establishment's um, terminology for labeling something or in this case some body and some mind with that body as basically not being in order with the specific outlined uh, requirements for normal uh, by the medical establishment their measurement sy system is based on normal and abnormal okay and I've got a page in front of me and I hope that this video gets most of the audio on it and the top sentence is sex chromosome abnormalities my biggest problem with the entire medical establishment when they use terminology such as disorder, abnormalities, and um, gender identity disorder, uh, they include bipolar, which is the, um, the newest word for manic depression, um, extreme highs and lows at, at, at um, <laughs> just sporadic times in the day or whatever, you know. Uh, the med medical establishment don't have, they don't know their arse from their elbow, okay, um, on the level of being a representation of people on this planet and them labelling us and everybody with something, okay. And the word cancer itself is used for nearly every problem that a human being has now. It's either throat cancer, heart cancer, blah blah blah, cancer, cancer, cancer. The person who hears the word cancer and automatically, and please correct me if you don't think like this, but most people hear the word cancer and freak out. Okay, so the medical establishment are very good with, mm, there's no other word for this, fucking people up in the brain, okay, first. And we generally know that the mind can create physical illness. Therefore, psychology is extremely important and psychiatric understanding is hugely important. So when we go back to gender identity disorder, you think to yourself, it's a psychiatric illness, such as transsexuality would be considered a, tr a psychiatric illness. I would agree that transsexuality is um, a squeezing of a spot that's not wanted on the face and therefore transsexuals are given this title that they actually have a you know a desire to be the opposite sex in their opinion and they don't even realize there's other sexes like intersex out there but it doesn't matter but they 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 basically get squeezed or they squeeze themselves as that spot and become a good healthy face acting a role in what they would consider to be the opposite sex and that they are now it whereas the medical institution mostly would think it's a psychiatric disorder because the medical establishment see human beings as just being two sexes males or females or people who have got psychiatric issues and obviously peace and party would disagree with that I'm not going to have time actually to go through all of this because I don't trust that this video will get it all but um, there has to be some changes made in how most people go with scientific um, knowledge and take it as fact um, and the medical establishment end up talking about people as having 
sex chromosome abnormalities. There are more intersex in this world, I believe, than typical normal males or typical normal females. There are more intersex, typical intersex, than males and females put together, in my opinion. We do not screen every baby, therefore we haven't a clue how many actual people are in fact medically termed intersex. We don't know, it's only estimations. You cannot trust the statistics of the medical establishment. They are not precise enough. Even though science and medical establishment go hand in hand, they cannot say specifically how many people are in fact intersex. Therefore, why call it an abnormality? Because it seems to be very normal to me. Um, plenty of um, people are intersexed and I would suggest that to the medical establishment that we start to look at the fact that maybe the whole entire planet of monkeys and people, people who've evolved from monkeys even if you don't agree with that God lovers, I'm also a believer of God and God is certainly not a man or a woman, no <laughs> so uh, get ready for the realities to be yeah, slowly seeped into everybody's mind and that's the way we like it because we don't want to shock we just want to tell you what it's like what it actually is and we're not trying to again bad language but we're not trying to fuck with people's heads and we're not trying to fuck with the system and to 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 capsize the boat no we are rocking the boat however but we're not in the mood for capsizing okay but we're absolutely here we, we walk amongst you, as is said in the Trans America video and um, film. So, anyway, love you and leave your people out there, all people of the world. And um, hopefully, this video has actually taken everything because I thought I spoke very well on very excellent importance for this.